Blessings everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Kathy. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Today I am so excited. I am giving you a tour of my personal slash ministry planner. For those of you that have been so faithful in watching my channel and commenting, first of all, I want to say thank you and give you a great big hug. Thank you for supporting. I'm really just on YouTube just for fun and to encourage other people. I am a crafter and a seamstress and I um, get a lot of tutorials from YouTube. So I'm doing this for fun, but anyways, thank you so much for your support. If you've been watching my channel, I have been purchasing lots of stickers and different things for my planner and I've been talking about this planner for a while and I'm excited to finally give you a tour of my ministry personal planner. For those of you that follow my channel, if you um, go to the description box, I will link my work planner. That video was uploaded on November 23rd. I do keep a separate planner for work versus personal ministry and I set it up differently as you will see in that video. So go ahead and take a peek. So without further ado, let's take a tour of my planner. So first of all, I want to tell you about my planner binder. The planner binder is from the uh, Dollar Tree. It's the Jot brand uh, three ring mini binder and they had a lot of different colors and they have two different styles and let me tell you, show you what I mean they have this style that has the rings with the uh, where you can pull it open at the top and bottom and then they have the kind that doesn't have these two pull tabs here where you can just pull it you have to open it from here I chose the one that uh, has the pull tabs at the top and they had lots of different colors. I went with the seafoam green and I hope that's showing up on camera. So I did cover it with contact paper just to extend the life of it and just to keep it from getting so stained and showing wear and tear because I am very hard on my planners as um, well as my even my laptop case. I'm very hard on that because I'm always taking it in and out of the backpack that I use to take um, my things to work and this will be going in and out of my purse so I have not covered the back I did purchase some wall art from Dollar Tree I haven't put it on there yet but I did two layers of contact paper I first covered it with contact paper and then after I decorated the front with scrapbook paper I then put another layer of contact paper on and my thought process with that is I do like to change things up and if I got tired of this cover and wanted to change it, I could just take that layer of contact paper off, put down fresh scrapbook paper and recover it. We will see if that works. So all of the paper that you're going to see in this tutorial slash tour is from the Target Dollar Spot, Hobby Lobby, Joann's, and Michael's. And I will try to reference the names of the paper as I talk about it just in case you're interested. So I covered the spine here and I used this gorgeous scrapbook paper. It's called Watercolor. I did purchase it from Michaels. I like the, not Michaels, I'm sorry, Hobby Lobby. This watercolor paper is from Hobby Lobby. Okay. And I love the green in it and it matched the binder. And this particular piece of cardstock is from Joanne. And I wanted kind of a contrast and I wanted to give it kind of a layered look, I guess you would say. So in the process of covering it, I just inserted this here and glued it down. So I really, really love this cover. I may or may not put my name on it or initials on it. Um, I don't know. We'll see. So, the inside of the binder did come with two plastic pockets here and here. What I did was, is I took a piece of scrapbook paper, cut it to size, and glued it on top of the plastic. Then I laminated it with contact paper. And then when I covered the um, mini binder, you can see here, I overlapped it just to give it a little extra strength. 
So I used a, the same watercolor for the front and then the back, this was from Joanne and this is actually like a cosmic kind of print. It's like a lavender with pink and mauve and a bunch of other colors. I just wanted to kind of do something different in the back. So back to the front of my planner. This is just a uh, paper clip flag. It came in a set from uh, Dollar Tree. These also came from the Dollar Tree. These are re these are removable. Um, I call them file folder labels, but as you can see, they're kind of a plastic, and you just stick them on certain things. I have been looking all over for these. And I finally found them. So I put them on a uh, piece of cardstock. This was actually left over from one of the projects that I did in my planner. I covered it with some of the scrapbook paper. I did a contrasting purple on the back, covered it with contact paper, and then I used two sided tape to stick these down. And these just stay in the front. Okay. So the first thing you're going to see is a yearly overview and I will link in the description box where I get my free printables. This free printable is from scatteredsquirrel.com. I encourage you to visit and support that website just because there are a ton and I mean a ton of free printables for everything right down to daily cleaning list, monthly cleaning list. She's got it. That site is just wonderful. So I downloaded a yearly view, and for your yearly view, you can even decide whether you want it to start on sun, your weeks to start with Sunday or Monday. And so I picked this template because it was the same color as my um, planner, which is the seafoam green and the peach. So you print it, landscape, cut it, and then I put it in a sheet protector. These sheet protectors I purchased at Walmart. They're the mini binder sheet protectors. You get about 15 for like 250, something like that. So I have six months here and then the first six months of 2018 are here. And that's just a quick reference for me. So the next thing that I have you will find is my dashboard. I will link the video tutorial from coupon to provide. She did an awesome, outstanding 20 minute video of how you can take just a basic file folder and make a dashboard, pockets for your planner, and also an expandable folder to go in your planner. And I have an expandable folder in the back which I will show you. So I purchased some file folders from Dollar Tree. You get three in a pack. And I used that tutorial to make my dashboard. I did not like the print that I had. So the only thing I did differently than coupon to provide is I covered my dashboard with contact paper after, I'm sorry, with scrapbook paper and then contact paper. I covered that after I cut the dashboard down to size. This is scrapbook paper from Michaels. It is also called watercolor, but it had a lot of yellow in there and I thought that was really pretty. So after I cut it, I covered it with the, con the scrapbook paper and then covered again with contact paper just to extend the life of it and just to protect it a little bit more. And then I put a piece of washi here just uh, for extra decoration. I did do a magnetic closure. The, you get a whole roll of this magnetic closures from um, Walmart. I think I paid like $4 and these are the inch wide and I bought the one inch wide because you can always cut it to the size that you want. So in here I have all of my sticky notes. These are all from Dollar Tree and I've stuck them down with two-sided, oops, stuck them down with two-sided tape. And they just stay in here and this dashboard just protects them from being peeled up with all the moving around within the binder. Okay. So the next thing you are going to see are my monthlies. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to leave my monthlies separate from my weeklies, which are here, 
or if I'm just going to put the monthly then the weekly and have it divided up by the 12 months of the year I haven't quite decided yet I'm still new at this whole planning thing so as I make changes and updates to my planner I will definitely share those here on uh, YouTube uh, these dividers I purchased they came in with a mini binder that I purchased I actually bought a one and a half inch ring mini binder and it came with a set of dividers and it came with um, a little pocket that you could use uh, to put things in so in a ruler and I'm not going to use the pocket so I just decided to go on ahead and uh, use the file folder dividers just for now I am probably going to be making my own at some point I just haven't um, gotten around to it yet so for now I'm just using them to divide it up and as you can see I haven't even labeled them okay so I'm gonna show you my monthly spreads first then my weekly spreads this particular monthly spread I downloaded from a free printable website I will link it in the description box it'll say October monthly and weekly spread and I believe it's called Ms. Tina I can't remember but the printable was very colorful and if you download it you get the monthly and the weekly and the way it prints you can glue them back to back and cut them up in half and then a uh, hole punch and put them right into your planner so this label I put here I just typed this in a word document and I did it in um, like a brown color just for the month of uh, October and then these leaves were from a sticker pack that I purchased at Walmart so this was the monthly uh, spread it did start with uh, Sunday here I love the notes column here and um, I went with a breast cancer awareness theme this is actually when I started the planner these rhinestone stickers are from Dollar Tree and these are from Hobby Lobby so what I do on my monthlies is I write down everything I know that's reoccurring that I have to tend to and these get transferred to my weeklies as well I always include my days off paydays and like here I'm responsible for posting on the church Facebook page every Tuesday so I have that here and then any other things I know that are coming up and then notes so as you can see here I went out of town and these were things that I had to tend to before I left town and I put in the notes section this is just scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby and I just decorated the back and I'm not sure if I'll continue to do that because I notice it does add some bulk this binder is pretty full and I only have three months worth in here so we'll see how that works out so this is my November monthly all of the scrapbook paper is from uh, Hobby Lobby with the exception of this piece here that came from a three dollar pack of scrapbook paper at the Target dollar spot the cornucopia sticker was part of a set from Hobby Lobby and I'm really happy at how this turned out it looks like a recipe card and then the washi was from the clearance section at Michaels it was 33 cents okay this is um, a paperclip flag that I made I will link in the description box the video tutorial I used and the ribbon is from my stash it's just yellow I'm not yellow I'm sorry it's orange and brown and I did it because those were Thanksgiving kind of colors fall colors okay this was my November monthly these monthly sheets are from the three birds brand that I purchased at the Dollar Tree and it is blank so you can write your own days of the week in the boxes and you can write your own uh, weekdays in as well and I think that's why they give you like one two three four five you get six weeks on here so I think this top box is meant to write the days of the week and then you can write in your dates so I um, was experimenting with making my own stickers I had some uh, two by four packing labels so I went in and just played around with um, some pictures I found on the internet of the Charlie Brown 
and I just was playing around with, to see if I could make my own stickers. So that's what these are here. And then I was on vacation this week, so I um, just decorated that with washi, and I put a little turkey here. He's kind of cute. Hey, nothing on the back of this page. Don't know if I'll decorate that or not. Here's my December monthly. I did already start my December monthly because I had some things that I needed to um, get down on my calendar. This scrapbook paper is from Hobby Lobby. It's a beautiful light blue and it has some silver snowflakes and some white snowflakes. Again, I printed this in a, uh, I wrote December, in, typed December in a Word document, cut it uh, here and stuck it on with some tape and then accented it with a little silver washi. Now, my December monthly, I am so proud of how it turned out. I just had some time on a Saturday and I just decided to go crazy and make it look as festive and pretty and um, festive, pretty and as busy as I possibly could. Now this printable I downloaded from Scattered Squirrel and I like the fact that the days of the week were already put in and they were in different colors, which I thought was very colorful for Christmas. The stickers were from a sticker pack from the Target dollar spot and then the washi was from Michaels. So they had a little note section here. I just took some yellow stickies for a pop of color and cut those to size, glued them down and I drew lines on them. I do like lines as a guide so I can have it write in notes here and then I just went decorating. I love how this turned out up here. I'm going to show you. It's two little elves on a bicycle. And this was actually washi from the Target dollar spot, but you could cut it to make the little individual tree. And I thought that was cute. So these are all the things that I have coming up. I'm having knee surgery on the 19th, and I put an upside down elf there because that's kind of how I feel about it. And then this is the back. I just used the leftover scrapbook paper to make a border. And then this was another scrapbook page from Joanne. It just had different Christmas things on it. So I cut it out, Joy to the World, and just stuck that on there. Okay, on to the next section. The next section are my weeklies. And I have October, November, and I do have my December weeklies in here. So let me show you those really quickly. And um, again, this scrapbook paper is from Hobby Lobby. So the weeklies that I use, I download it from a website called, it's the Ms. I think it's Ms. Tina or something. It'll be in the description box. But this was my first time keeping a planner. So I didn't do a lot of decorating. I was just kind of feeling my way around. So this was actually September 30th, which was my birthday. And I had some birthday washi in my stash that I didn't know I had. <laughs> so I uh, just put happy birthday there. So I like that it the days of the week, it starts on Sunday, and then you have a page here, a little spot here to write notes. So I tend to use upcoming events here or just little notes of things I have to do. And then I tried to decorate with some washi at the top and write October. I was just really feeling my way around this, like I said. This was scrapbook paper from the Target dollar spot, and I did something I've seen people do on YouTube. I just cut a piece and then I cut an index card and stuck it on here and these were a list of things I had to do. And so sometimes I do daily to do, sometimes I just do a weekly to do if it's something I know I wanna do for the week. I uh, went with an apple theme on this one and again I did another um, to do card and I was out of town so I blocked off those days. And then for the last day of November, I'm sorry, the last week of October, I did a pumpkin washi tape thing. Okay, so on to my November weekly. And my November weeklies, I actually did myself. I'm going to show you a blank one and how I set it up. So this was, of course, the first page. This was from the internet. I just downloaded it, cut it, printed it, and stuck it on here. And these were some stickers from um, Hobby Lobby. And this was just scrapbook paper I used. So I did my own weeklies, and I'm going to show you. Okay. 
So each page, what I did is I took printer paper, I cut it in half and punched holes in it. Okay. Each page has different color washi. These were from the Dollar Tree and they had the days of the week already on them. So what I did was I like a horizontal layout like this. I don't like vertical layouts for me personally. So I put the month or sorry, the day of the week on each one. And then I did a sticky and I'm sorry, not a sticky, a Sharpie. And I wrote in the actual day. This particular stickers come in paper clips as well. I just did the push pins because I was still experimenting and everything. Then this washi was from Dollar Tree. It's a peach and a green. And I thought that was very um, fitting for the month of November. So I used that to give myself boxes for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then Saturday and Sunday, I just put a piece of washi down the middle to divide that in half. Okay, so that's how I did it. It was very simple and I had fun doing it. And it was, like I said, just playing around, experimenting. Okay. So let's go back to November. Okay, so this is uh, the start of November, which was uh, that Thursday was November 1st. Then this was uh, the third and the fourth. This was a Saturday, Sunday, and you can see how I um, divided this up. Okay, so this is, again, I did uh, another to-do card here. And I just wrote down all my things I had to do. In important calls, I tend to use one of the flags so it jumps out at me. But I remember to do that. Okay. This is the week of Thanksgiving. I was off, so I um, wrote down all the things I needed to do and all the things that I wanted to do. Now, this was just some leftover paper. So what I did was I... Um, put holes in it, put some lines on it, put a little piece of washi, and these were all of the tasks that I wanted to accomplish over Christmas break. Not Christmas break, I'm sorry, Thanksgiving break. I'm already doing my to-do list for Christmas break, which I won't be able to do much because I will have just had knee surgery, so it'll be a lot of sitting down tasks that I'll be doing. But anyway, these were the things I wanted to accomplish over Thanksgiving break. Okay. This is a bookmark that I made. These stickers are from a sticker pack at Walmart. It's called Inspirational Crosses. And then the back of it was another sticker pack that was about faith. And it says, all you need is faith, have faith. What I did was I got some two pieces of white cardstock, put them, uh, taped them back to back. I put the stickers on and then I covered it with contact paper and hold it and when I punched holes in it I made it to where it was long at the top so it sticks out so the contact paper makes it more durable and then it's easy for me to find my place in my planner and then there were some Christmas TV specials I wanted to watch so I put that hot pink sticky so it would jump out at me Okay, this is the last week of November, which I have not decorated yet. Okay. All right. On to December. These are my December weeklies, and I did these myself. These stickers came in a sticker pack that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. So what I did is I did a Word document, landscape, and then I just um, typed lines on there. And then I cut it, I printed it out, cut it in half, and then I put the stickers on. And then what I did is I went and I scanned it into my computer as a PDF document. That way, if I want to use the spread again, all I have to do is go in and print it, cut it in half, punch the holes, and put it in my planner. So I wanted to experiment with a weekly that started on a Sunday. So that was why I made this. And then this is just going to be a note section here. So these are for December, and I will be decorating those, probably a Christmas theme of some sort. Okay, the next section is going to be ministry ideas, 
for uh, my YouTube channel. I do have a ministry YouTube channel called Foot of the Cross Ministries and um, also for this YouTube channel here. So as you can see, I wrote down a few ideas and then I just checked off the one that I did do. Again, I did make this um, notes page. Uh, use the same process that I used when I made my December weeklies. The only difference is, is I didn't put the days of the week on it. I cut it, I printed it, cut it in half, and then just put a little washi to decorate. And this was just extra paper I had left over um, from a few trials that didn't go quite right. I just drew lines on it, cut it in half, and put it in here. Now one thing you will notice that I have done is I've kind of cut the corners on a lot of these. One thing I have noticed with this binder is that these pull tabs that you use to open the binder are very close to the edge of the paper. And sometimes these little corners here at the top and the bottom get caught. So all I did is just put a little diagonal cut there and that way they don't catch. Okay, this next section here is going to be a meal planning slash uh, meal idea section. I'm always running around wondering what I'm going to cook, what I'm going to eat. So I decided to start tracking um, certain recipes and certain meals that I do pretty frequently and also some new things. So that's going to go there. Then in this last section is a expandable um, folder pocket. I used coupon to provides tutorial to make this and it turned out really cute and I was really happy about it. I used Dollar Tree file folders and I followed what she did in her tutorial and then um, I again I didn't like the print so this scrapbook paper is from Hobby Lobby and then I accented it with some pink washi so this side was actually blank so this scrapbook paper is also from Hobby Lobby both of them are it's, this is kind of like a paisley lavender which is one of my favorite colors and this is just a kind of a plain lavender with a little bit of white what I did was is I cut a piece of this leftover glued it around the around the edges and then I keep my reinforcements in here Okay, so that's just I know where they are. And then this actually expands here at the bottom. So it will hold papers or whatever I need to put in there. Okay, these are from a notepad that a student gave me. So what I did was I tore out a few pages, then I uh, cleaned up the edge that was attached to the spiral. And I'm just going to use these to jot down notes if I'm out. This is good for a quick grocery list, or if I'm out and about and I have an idea for something, I can jot it down here, or if it's something I have to do, I can jot it down here, and then I can take this sheet, and I can attach it here to the current week that I'm on, or for the next week, depending on when it needs to be done. So these just stay in here, and since it's these are not these sheets are not the size of the folder I just keep a little paper clip here to hold them in place so they're not sliding all around okay then in the last pocket I keep um, this was another experiment this was just some leftover um, paper I had I just drew lines on it put some washi and then just put that sticker there for decoration. Um, this is going to just be to, to jot down notes. I probably am going to um, make a set of these and scan them into my computer and then I can reprint as necessary. Okay, this I also made. Just This is just lines on a half sheet of paper and I decorated with some washi. These are reoccurring monthly things. So whenever I start my monthly spread, I pull this out. And these are all of the things that I need to include in my monthly. I always put my paydays, any breaks or days off, holidays. I am taking a children's ministry class. So we have a call every third Tuesday. My church post goes up every Tuesday. And then um, 
I'm in a prayer class. We have a call every second Thursday. And then I'm a mentor for some students in a pageantry class. Those calls are the first Tuesday. So I have to make sure I write these in my monthly. So I just call this reoccurring monthly and um, these also get transferred to the weeklies when I do my weekly spreads. So actually when I do my weekly spreads, I turn to my monthly, I take my weekly spreads out and then I transfer what I need to transfer on those particular days. And then the last things I have in here, these are just, these are actually daily to-do lists. These are from Dollar Tree. These are the Three Birds brand that match the um, monthlies and the weeklies. Um, I do use these for weeklies. I don't use these for dailies, but you could. So you just write the date, and then it has errands, chores, appointments, miscellaneous at the bottom. And then it has little check boxes where you can check off when it's done. I just put a few of these uh, in here. And then the last thing that you will see is um, this divider of ribbon. I got this idea from a YouTube, tu YouTube tutorial. I will link that in the description box. And what I did was I cut the ribbon like she showed in the video. I cut it kind of diagonal so it would fit in this little part of the, let's see if I can show you. So it would fit in this little part of the binder. And then I cut it to the uh, I cut it to the size that I wanted. And then I do make my own jewelry. So this was a charm that I had. I put it on a jump ring, glued it down, and then this is something else I can use to mark my place in my planner. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is my planner. I am very excited to finally, like I said, be able to share this with you. If you have any questions, please comment in the description box. I'm sorry, in the comments below. In the description box, I am going to list all of the free printables that I use and the different YouTube tutorials I used in the process of putting this binder together. So thank you so much for watching. watching. Thank you so much for being patient with me as I've been talking about this planner for a while and I finally have been able to share it with you. So until the next video, be blessed. Bye.